<laughs> um, Ted Wu. This is Ted. I'm sort of a new viewer and I love the show. My question is, do you think Disney put out this new Frozen trailer, or Frozen 2 trailer, as a way to deflect the backlash a Latin trailer has been getting in regards to Will Smith's genie? Ooh, I mean, look, actually, that's just something that came up. First of all, so the 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 Frozen 2 trailer drops yesterday. I am shocked by two things. Number one, how much I liked it. For a first trailer, for again, doesn't give anything about the movie really, blah, 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 but it's a first trailer. We give a pass like that to first trailers. As a first trailer, Rob, I... I thought it was quite good, and I was surprised. Because if you had asked me, hey, John, uh, there's a Frozen trailer. I'm about to play it for you. Do you think you're going to like it? Um, well, I mean, it's Frozen. I like the first movie. Come on, it's Frozen. I really liked it, and I was surprised. The second thing that shocked me, Rob, was as I looked at responses across the internet, because remember, Frozen crossed the billion-dollar mark. Frozen right. joined the billion-dollar club. And when it became so successful... Like a lot of successful films do, some people kind of turned about it, became cool to bash on Fro ah, Frozen, stupid, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, a bunch of people didn't like the movie. That's fine. I was shocked to see how positive the response was across the net for this, for this trailer. And that brought up a theory that I saw a number of people tweeting and, and even wrote in in comment section saying, do you think this was purposefully done? Like, do you think maybe they were originally planning to release this trailer now? Or do you think they went... Uh, our Aladdin trailer's not getting the response that we wanted from people. Let's change the narrative and put something out. And I'll tell you what, Rob. At first, I was like, nah. Nah, I mean, they did, They look, they got a lot of movies coming out. They just decided to put this out now. But you know what? The more I think about it, because this, this movie doesn't come out till November. It doesn't come out till November. I think I'm buying into the conspiracy theory. I think I'm putting on my little tin hat and thinking, you know what? Yeah. Because as soon as this trailer dropped, nobody was talking about the Aladdin trailer anymore. Mm. And I, I actually can't help but wonder if maybe, just maybe, we are looking at something where Disney just dropped this to get the conversation off of Aladdin thing. But I don't know, Rob. What do you think? How do you think they uh, – do you think that's what they did? Well, you know, I, I, I don't think that Disney it, – look, it takes a long time to make these trailers. They have to oh, be yes. – looked uh, looked over and picked over with a fine tooth comb and they have people have to decide whether or not like are we going to release is this the trailer we want to release and you know it's funny i went back and watched it a couple times and olaf i was like does he appear and he is in the trailer but he never oh. speaks one of the shots you see him from behind none I mean, of them what, speak <laughs> yeah and i i thought what i thought was really interesting is this is truly a teaser this is a teaser yeah. trailer it was meant to come out and 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 get people riled up to see this movie and and i think I, I honestly don't believe that the Aladdin trailer had anything to do with Frozen because they it's not like they don't want Aladdin to not make a billion dollars. I mean, they're still planning on having Aladdin make a lot of money. So they weren't they they're not thinking to themselves like, uh oh, the on uh, the online uh response to the Aladdin trailer is what it was gonna be. You you know, the the frozen true trailer doesn't negate or doesn't it, it, people still are, are talking shit about Aladdin because they're two different things, but but I I think they they they're ramping up their marketing campaign. You've you've they they now have awareness out there. People are talking about it. We're talking about it right now. So as any good trailer does, it gets you talking about the movie. And even if even if they're if they're talking about it in relation to the the Aladdin trailer, then Disney's done done it twice because we're still talking about Aladdin. In addition yeah. to see, Frozen 2. See, I agree that this trailer was already done. Like, I don't believe for a second that Disney went, oh, wait a second, the Aladdin trailer isn't going over well with people. Quick, cut together a Frozen 2 trailer. I don't think that's what happened at all. I, But I think they had this trailer sitting in the can, but they, I don't think they were planning on releasing it for maybe another month or anything like that. And I think they saw, let's get people talking about something else. Again, I'm not willing to put any money on that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm willing to bet 100 bucks at that. No, but... Would I would I tip to the fifty one percent thing that that maybe that's what they did? I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. But I don't. I don't know if we asked you yesterday, uh, Ashley. What did you think about that about that Frozen two trailer? Um, we talked about it a little bit. I, I was excited about it. Um, I liked that it went in a in a darker um, approach, and I thought the. Uh, I mean, she seems like a badass, like riding those waves and like mm. the slice at the end. I mean, it got me excited to see it. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought it was just very well done. Again, for a first trailer. For a mm -hmm. first trailer, I liked it a 